Katya Woods, Couple Soul Show. Hi, guys. Hey, Katya. how's it going? Excellent. Now, I got to say, it's just hard enough to date just being yourself. And I did this all pre-internet. Talk about um, what were your trepidations going into this process? So not only are you dating in a different way, but it's going to be all on the record. Like, you can't erase it. SK, let's start with you. Um, I think going on this, uh, on Love is Blind is like probably the most out of place thing I've ever done in my life. Um, never in a million years would I have thought that I could even communicate, uh, well enough behind the pods, behind a wall to someone to the point that I can convince them to marry me. Um, I feel like, you know, like I, before Love is Blind, I struggled a lot with being like emotionally vulnerable, uh, and all that's just very much different now yeah I think uh going into it for me I really didn't think it would work I had a lot of skepticism and I was also just once I got there I was like very quickly realizing you know the girls that I would not want to be married to for whatever reasons it was just like okay for sure no 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 and then I really was just like okay there's not out of these 15 girls there's not going to be any that I would truly want to marry I should not propose but sure enough there was one girl who was like on paper like everything you've told me the sound of your voice who i believe you to be it's like wow this really worked for me so i i mean yeah that was my mindset going into it and then the pods really shocked me whenever i really found someone that i was like this could work and cole one thing i will say about you no matter what happened i felt we got your authentic self like you were like this is me whatever way it may come across this is what you're getting um it just seemed like you took to that portion of it a little bit more um comfortably than the others is that just who you are or you were like i got nothing to lose well that that was my goal going into it right is like this this means a lot to me i've been married and divorced before i'm not looking to have another traumatic experience like that it's like you know, a big reason why my family didn't want to be involved because in such a short experiment, it's not highly plausible that you're gonna have this super healthy relationship come from it. And so I went into it being like, I will not be fake. How I feel and how I think and what I want to say, I'm going to say it because we're not talking about just dating here. We're talking about getting married for the rest of our lives. So I better take it pretty seriously. So yeah, I did my best to say it how I thought it, to embrace every aspect and crevice of this experiment, which was, you know, looking at other girls after the pods and getting questioned about that and really thinking about how do I really feel about the girl I'm engaged with. So I like dove into it and was like, let's, let's be real. And SK, you come with it in with some cultural aspects, you know, and do you feel like that was going to help you or was that going to hinder your process? Um, so going into the whole experiment, I definitely was very well aware of, you know, falling in, possibly falling in love with someone that's not, that's not Nigerian or that's not African. Uh, but for me, I don't feel like, you know, you need to be from a certain culture to be able to at least, um, respond to that culture. Uh, for me, it was still very important regardless that whoever I decide to fall in love with, I was hoping and praying that they're at least open to learning more about my culture and, you know, possibly getting, you know, involved and assimilated because I just can't imagine life any other way without it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, guys, for your time and best of luck. Thanks. See you next time.